All right, guys, today I'm gonna to share a live demo of how I download large mega files. In other words, how to push past that annoying daily quota limit. Obviously, it's mega, and right now you can see I'm hitting that limit. First, I'll launch exit lag. I'm using the trial version for this demo. You can add your browser inside exit lag and pick a specific region, then configure it. I've already done that. I'll drop a link to my exit lag setup video in the description. That tutorial was made for gaming, lowering ping, but the same method applies here if you don't know how to add or configure a browser. Okay, so I tried to resume the download by pausing all transfers and clicking resume, but it didn't work. Instead, I duplicated the same tab without closing the original one. Don't close the tab, because Chrome keeps the partial download data in that session, and if you close it, your preview slash download progress can be lost. After duplicating the tab, I opened the same file I was downloading before, the one that got interrupted by the daily quota. When I click download in the new tab, make sure you pick the same download method you used earlier. I used the standard method but didn't capture that step because I didn't expect to hit the limit on a three gigabyte file. When the pop-up says you're running out of transfer quota, just click continue download. Mega will check your previous session and then continue downloading the parts you don't have yet. Meanwhile, the older tab will still show the quota error. Leave it open. I kept that tab open until the new download finished because I didn't want to risk losing the preview data. Focus on the new tab. After a while, the download completes, the browser hands the file to your downloader, and you can close everything and access the file without interruption. That's the basic trick. Don't close the original tab, duplicate it, use exit lag or another IP tool if you need to rotate sessions, and make sure the new tab uses the same download method so Mega continues from where you left off. This is a quick technical demo showing how it worked for me and exactly what you need to do. Hopefully this helps a lot. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.